Your next Euro trip might just be in a Chinese electric vehicle. Cars from the PRC are taking over European roadways and implementing one of the world's highest tariffs may be the only way to stop it, something the U.S. might one day have to contend with as well. A quarter of electric vehicles sold in the EU this year will be made in China. Beijing state subsidies on EVs have allowed Chinese automakers to entice European drivers with much lower price points. These cars are nearly a third cheaper than the average EV sale price in Europe. Because of this, Chinese car companies like BYD can actually sell some of their models for twice as much in Europe and still have them be the less expensive option. The BYD CLU, for example, costs around $22,000 in China, but European buyers will have to shell out about $45,000 for the same car. Despite the price hike, that's still about $10,000 less than the average European EV. So the EU is now looking at ways to level the playing field. Currently, they have a 10% tariff on Chinese vehicles. But if Europe wants to slow their spread throughout the continent, they'll need to go much higher. A new study shows as much as a 50% tariff would be needed to slow things down, making it one of the 10 highest duties on cars around the world. It would also be nearly double what the U.S. has imposed on vehicles from China, a rate American politicians have also proposed increasing. The Biden administration has reportedly considered hiking the 27.5% tariff already in place. While former President Trump promises if he's reelected, he'll bump it all the way up to 100 percent. I'm Jack Almer with Straight Arrow News. To keep up to date with the latest developments on this story and others around EVs, download the SAN app and turn on notifications for stories from me. You can find it on the App Store and Google Play.